I'm just fighting dogs now that I that I became a trainer and, and learned how to train dogs and learned how to give dogs CPR and learned how to bandage them up if they got broken limbs. You you, you develop a different type of love for the dog. It's just like it's like when I when I train dogs and I see them dogs leave. It, it hurts me to see them leave because I spent so much time with that dog. It does. But I you? know that it's not my dog. And that my job is to train it and let it go back to its owner. You know, that's my that was my job, and that is your job as a trainer. And so, do you think that um, people that get busted for this should not do jail time? Do you think they? Should? I can't say that because no man is without sin. You know, no one can cast a stone because we all have sin. Even if the president has sin somewhere in his life, you know, you just make the person aware of what he's doing is wrong. Do you think these people that fight dogs know that it's wrong? Is going to war wrong? Well, you have children, right? Right. Would you want your child to be treated like if you want if you had a son, say, and you wanted him to be a boxer, would you perform the same type of training like you do with a dog and keep it locked up and no, in the dark? That's a total, and that's a total. E much, e much when I did fight dogs, I didn't lock my dog up. He was a house dog. He was just trained to do what I asked, what I wanted what I did, asked him to do. Did you get involved in this um, at a younger age because people, your brothers or your family was involved in or anything? Or No, I'm actually a military brat. Because I hear that there's kids now that are like 9, 10 years old there's trying no to different, fight these dogs. There's no different than... Uh, no, I'm not going to go there, but... Okay. I'm not here to judge you. I'm trying to figure out you about have men in the armed forces fight dogs. Yeah, I know that. I've heard that too. Why do you think people fight the pit bulls? What do they gain out of it? Is it do what they think it's a sport? It? Is it for money? Is it it's for it's, um, it's, 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 it's I, for I, money and it's also for sport. It's like a sport. It's like watching boxing. As, or I would say boxing. It's like watching. It's no different than men fighting men. Is it gang related? No, it's not gang related. I had a 208 pound Great Dane and Pit Bull that I fought against anything and everything that would come my way. Okay. Did people bet on your dogs? Of course. I would bet my life on that dog. How did you train the dog? How did I train him? I trained him way you would train your kid how it's just like training a fighter you have to exercise the dog you have to keep him in shape training the you dog you don't think it's abusive is men fighting men's abusive men's have died from men's have died from fighting each other but a man it's no different than a man a man chooses to fight pit bulls don't have the choice to fight why they don't it's like it's not any other dog. If your dog is your dog, sees another dog, it's gonna go. It's gonna go one of right. And I, that's the I, of the dog. I agree because I do dogs have a, originated I, from wolves. I have a chow in there, and I, I can agree with you. But I also have seen footage of how these people train the pit bulls to fight, and they whip them, they burn them, they beat them. Well, I don't know about all about that, but I know I train my dogs, my dogs in a different way. I train my dog the same way I train myself to exercise and box and take martial arts. So you kind of look at it as if two men fighting. It's no different. It's, it's history. Men have battled for, for centuries. It's no different than two men with, with, with swords in their hands. Or two men with two pistols turning their bikes and walking away and shooting at each other. So is that, so is that any different from for two dogs fighting? Well, if two dogs are fighting and one's all chewed up, 
Do they have undercover veterinarians? How do they treat the dogs to keep them? Same way you same way we did a hog dog, a dog that's trained to go out and catch hogs. The hog cut him up. You know what we did? We used fishing line to, to stitch him up. How much money's involved in one of these fights? That depends on. That depends on. That 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 really depends on. How much you love your dog, and uh, but if you're, how much you willing? Do you are you a football fan? Yes, I am. Uh, do you remember when um, it was released that Michael Vix uh, got arrested for the pit bull ring he was doing in um in his house? Yes, I'm really familiar with it. How I'm also, I'm also familiar with. Right here in South Florida, from the, from the Florida Keys to the tip of the Panhandle, that they fought dogs all through the state of Florida. Do you like think that. it's because he's a celebrity? It came out and exactly. So that you were, just, that's the so media. You, were, you weren't surprised when it came out. No. Do you think that um, the time he served was appropriate for the amount of dogs that? They found with their necks cracked open and beaten to a pulp and drowned in his pool and. Well, see, that's 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 taking a little, that's taking it to the extreme because it's just like a fighter. Say, for instance, if a fighter loses a fight, are you gonna throw him in jail? Or are you gonna hang him? I've known people that with the dog loose, they take take bricks and time around and they can throw him in in, in, the, in the lake because the dog lost money but it's no difference than a man going out there fighting or a football for instance a football player going out there losing the game are you gonna kill are you gonna are you gonna kill him no he just lost the game how do that get what if your dog is getting his face torn apart do you stop the fight or do you fight the dogs to kill to till one dies well that is the nature of the beast. Okay. It is no different than going to war. People die in war every day. Did that dog only listen to you? My dog did. Every dog I train listens to me. I mean, you can walk him. You can be in the house with him. But whenever I'm there, I have total control of the dog. Same thing with your dog. As long as you're there, he's, he's going to be calm. Listen. But what does it mean, um, bait dogs? How do they use bait dogs? I know, um... Bait dogs is actually fighting a dog against a dog that is not as aggressive as the dog you're trying to train. It's no different than two puppies fighting over food. So do they dangle the puppy in front of them because they're starving and they want to attack the dog? I mean, I don't know what the term bait dogs means. That's what I'm asking you. Because I hear it a lot. If you have, it's called game. Actually, it's called game. It's just like training a dog to hunt a hog or training a dog to hunt. Or it's no different than training a dog. But how do you train that? It's no different than training a dog, how to train a dog to find cocaine. You teach it. Same way you would train them how to sit, how to shake hands. And then they eat the, the bait dogs are only little dogs or do they no, use other bait dogs are dogs that you know that ain't going to give the dog a fight. That ain't going to be aggressive. Because bait dogs will not break the dog's spirit. If you break the dog's spirit when it's young, as he's growing, he's not going to want to fight. And how long do people afraid. fight these dogs until? Until? It's no different than a human being. You fight them until they get old, then, they, then they're out of the game. You breed them and you keep going. All right, I have, a, I have a pit bull. I don't have her with me. She was found on the streets. She was filled with milk. Completely exhausted, wrapped around a tree when we found her. There was no puppies. The vet said that most likely the 
she just had the puppies and she they had the breeder they had to pump the milk but she was only a year and a half why wouldn't they have used her more or do you think she escaped she was a breeder but don't they keep breeding these dogs or i mean she was only a year so she probably could have had more litters you, of puppies you, exactly but you wouldn't want to breed you wouldn't want to fight your female because that's your breeder that's what produces your fighters right but i'm trying to figure out do you think but, she escaped or what or why did why didn't they keep her to keep breeding her maybe they just got tired of her maybe she was was not did not what they expected for us in a breed Okay, um, I'm just trying to figure out her because I, I there's different I've, types. I'm of, drawn to pit bulls now because of this dog. There's different types of breeds of pit bulls. Well, I take that back. They think they think there's different types of breed of pit bulls, which in a way there there, there are. You know, because you can breed a pit bull with bull massive. You can breed it with where it's over 500 pounds. It's bigger than his mother and his father. You would own one of those? Yes, I would in a heartbeat. My other question, my pit bull was filled with scars around her back hind legs. What do you think that means? That means that whoever that, whoever, that type of dog that was fighting it was a leg dog. So What's you can a leg dog? Dogs that you train to go, you can train a dog to go for different parts of, of dog bodies. You train a dog to go for a dog's nuts, legs. You train, so, them, to go, you go, so, you train them to go for tender spots on a dog. That makes the dog surrender. Okay, so how do you think they did that? What? What? Is, how? Tell me the process of that. That, that I don't want to get into because that's a long process. But okay, it's but, just do, like, do they... but it's like training a dog how to. Okay, you're a dog trainer. I, all right, I'm just trying to figure out what happened to my pit bull before I found her. That I can't tell you because I don't know the history of the dog, and neither do you. Right. So that's we don't why know I, how, that's, we don't know what type of abuse that the dog if, knows. If we just you, know that she's been abused. Right. But I'm, that's why I'm asking you, what if you know what those signs stand for? The scars all on her back of her hind legs. It could be that, a big dog. It could be from the chain. It could be from being wrapped around a tree. It, it could be various of things. And so you know you can't necessarily say. The only thing we know that the dog was abused. She was abused. But she's so sweet. They all are. Any dog is. Is it trained? To How do, since they're cracking down a little bit more, where do people fight these dogs? In their house? I mean, they can't do it out here in the public without getting caught. That I, mean, I can't answer. Okay. Okay. Because in that case, you have illegal but you, street fighting. But it is happening here in Fort Lauderdale, or South Florida, the pit bull fighting. It happens all around the world, not just in South Florida. Right. Well, we're it happens in other countries. Now, have you heard of, uh, in Wilton Manors, there was an arrest, it's called trunking, that they put the two pit bulls in a, a trunk and they drive around blaring their music and let the dogs fight in the trunk until one dies, or they start... They stop thumping the car, and then they open the trunk and throw the one overboard on, to the curb. Have you heard of that term, trunking? Nah. Have you heard of people fighting dogs in a trunk? First of all, it is too close in of an area for two dogs to fight. For one. That's it's A lot of people say it's almost impossible to have dogs fight in a trunk. It is. There's no room for either dog to move. So, but if you put two aggressive dogs in a trunk, what do you think? They, you think they want to go after each other? Or is it the, the owners that are egging them on to fight? So what are they going to do? Fight? They're going to fight on their knees? They're going to fight basically laying, basically laying down? Because man one can stand up. So it's really not a fight. But the average dog, as long as you don't move, he will not attack. These fighting dogs that do get saved and they get sent to the Humane Society, do you think that they can be um, no. put back out with if a the family? Dog, if the dog is if he's an aggressive animal, I take that bite because I've had trained aggressive dogs. But it's tough 
breaking the dog down and winning and winning his and winning him over. But it can be done. But some once 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 some becomes a one owner dog, it's time it's time to put him down. Because he has no you are his enemy. Because a lot of people want to adopt these dogs. And I would say, I would say adopt them. As long as they're not aggressive. But you have to get to know the animal. You have to, you have to let the animal trust you. Is there any signs that a dog would show to know that it was a fighting dog? Because a lot of people find random pit bulls here and there. How do you know if it was a fighting dog just because it would act aggressive? Would it act timid around you? Would it act, you know? Or you don't know? That, that varies, you know. I've, I've just, okay, for instance. Is the pit bull, uh, is it a myth or is it true that pit bulls have um, lock jaws? When yes, somebody says, oh, all pit bulls have lock jaws, do you have to train the dog to have that? No, that's, that gain the their, muscle? That is the nature and that is the breed which comes from the bulldog. Bulldogs have lock jaws. Without bulldogs, there is no such thing as a pit bull. Pit bulls were not originated, there was no bulldogs. So do you have um, any advice if a, a person's walking down the street and um, with their golden retriever or pit, whatever it is, and a fighting pit bull gets loose and goes after the dog, is there any way to stop it, to protect their own dog? They do say, you know, some dogs you pick them up by the ribs or in a wheelbarrow, and but with the pit bulls, they'll just lock on and not let go. Some depends on the dog. I've seen some lock on to things and then and then just hang up with your life. So there's a way to so there's a way to unlock the dog. They're just like any other dog. Well, it, would a hose with water nah. work? That 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 only thing. Nah, that's not gonna work up dogs. Maybe maybe a German Shepherd. Or then again, it depends on how aggressive the dog is and how vicious it is. But would you advise a person just to back away or what? If I was with my child right now and a pit bull came and I started freaking okay. out, would you? Would I, leave would, my, would I leave my dog? No. No, no, no. You're just here right now and I'm walking my dog and some random pit comes, starts attacking my dog. Would you try to break it up? Of course you, I will. But because how would you do it? Punching him? Kicking him? No. I would take, I'm not, a, I'm just I would take to a lighter uh -huh. and stick it to his balls. What if he has no balls? If he has no balls, there's a tender spot. Burn his nose. And you don't think he'll bite you? How is it gonna bite? It's no different than taking a taking pepper spray and spraying spraying into an eye. Are you gonna are they gonna are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna would, would pepper to fight? Would pepper spray work? Yes, it will. On dogs? Yes, it will. Why do you think mailmans the mailman have carried them for many years? You can't bite what you can't see. Well, I mean, I'm just saying because maybe if these pit bulls that get loose and kill people's dogs because they're terrified to break it up. We could avoid that if, we, if people knew how to. Pepper spray. Pepper spray would be the best for somebody to carry with them. Okay. That is the best way and safest. Well. What's your opinion on the pit bulls? Why do you think they have such a bad reputation here in South Florida? Well, we have to go back through history. Pit bulls are originated from bulldogs, which bulldogs was dogs that was... Hog well, was dogs that flip bulls. Okay, it originated from that. They fight at bulldogs over centuries. Okay, and as years went by, they breeded it with a, with different types of dogs. That's how you get bull masters, bull terriers. Okay, these are dogs that originated from centuries of, of dogs of bulldogs. Flipping 1,500-pound bulls, okay? The sport of fighting dogs... 
Oh yes, it's, it's, I, very, it's very dangerous for dogs. Okay. Is that why you think they have a bad reputation because of the the pit bulls that are fighting? No, there's a difference between fighting dogs and house dogs. Okay. Uh, before we continue, do you think that the pit bulls are born aggressive, or is it the way they are trained? It is. It is in the their breed. It originated from a bull terrier, which bull terriers were small dogs that kill rats on ships. So it has a killer instinct. It also has a fox terrier, which fox terriers were small dogs that goes into foxholes and get foxes. It was the only dog that was small enough that could go in a foxhole. So it, it has a history of being aggressive because of the type of game